Hi friends, it's Nancy. I'm here to show you a flip through of Dick and Jane that I've been working on recently. So I'll give you some measurements here. About five and a half by eight inches. The cover itself is patchwork of um, reproduction, reproduction feed sack fabrics. So these aren't old, well, <laughs> they might be considered vintage now. <laughs> I've probably had them around for a while, but um, yeah, these aren't, these are, I love, I love, love then beautiful soft pastels and they just, just go together so well. And they're really, you know, simple, pretty prints. The whole journal is, uh, or sorry, the whole cover is is uh, fabric filled. Uh, I made a pocket here and on the front, and I tucked into the pocket this um, stand-up paper doll sort of thing with Jane roller skating. Come on, Jane. What's going on here? Get in there, girl. And then on the front we have we have Dick. He's just behaving himself, not like Sally getting all, or sorry, Jane getting all worked up about stuff. There's five signatures. This is a hidden hollowback spine style. Um, I tried to keep everything clean, fresh, um, pastel. Uh, on each of the signatures, I've added a fabric tab with a little figural button. So this is a little pink kitten. Uh, there's a, a horse. This is a button that has a little duck painted on it. There's a figural owl. And this one has a little purple tulip and some other flowers on it. I used some rickrack to decorate and added lots of fussy cuts. So let's just get right into it. So I've used actual pages from uh, an old Dick and Jane book that was in sorry condition. Here's a fussy cut of Jane. Oh, Jane. <laughs> there, uh oh, said baby Sally. She's got mother's shoes on, I think. This is from an old school songbook. Some vintage steno paper. This is this paper also is vintage. I uh, this is um I think I had to cut it down, but this is meant for legal documents. There she is again. This pocket I made with a strip of patchwork. And I added some rickrack there. Uh, this is a card I had hanging around. Um, it's blank on the back, so that can be used for journaling. Could do, it could be colored too? Get out your crayons. And then I used a couple of subtraction flashcards. Um, added some fussy cuts and just put some clean white paper on the back. I thought this needed a little more imagery, so I popped on this fussy cut of Dick. And I think this is my favorite page. Um, so I put the ribbons down and then I sewed across the ribbons and all the way down to make a string for my kite. Another card that I added some fabric to, and here's a card about kite. This is some retro eyelet lace. Uh, here I used a division card and added a fussy cut of Jane on her tricycle. Put some white paper on the back. And here's another little card. I added some fabric. Perfect for journaling. Lots of room for writing. This is from a very old reader. So well before Dick and Jane.
There's Dick, Jane, and Baby Sally. There's Jane. She's sewing something. Maybe she's making something for her dollies. This folds out. Uh, here is another flash card. This, this had the word run on it, so I fussy cut this picture of Jane. She's running, and it flips out. I use this eyelet to help me with the f uh, hinge. And there's a fabric pocket on the back with a bunch of cards. So I have this little card of these little girls. This one says rain. And this has a couple little girls doing dishes. There's another page from um, a vintage workbook. It wasn't Dick and Jane. It was, you know, a knockoff. But this one has uh, some cute images from fairy tales. Well, here's the whole family. They're fixing up this good old horse. There's baby Sally. This is a page from a children's book about dolls. This is a class attendance list. And I added the fussy cut of Dick and Spot. He can jump. made this card um, so it's a word card and they're getting milk from the milkman but on the back there's a pocket here that you could tuck something into I think I meant for it to be here because of the cows maybe I'll pin it right there Fussy cut there. Another fussy cut. This was uh, a children's book. Uh, very vintage. Uh, this is that workbook. I trimmed around the book and glued it at the bottom to make a pocket. Here's another card that I had in my stash. I just sewed a little bit of fabric at the top for a tap. Lots of bright colors in those pages. Jump and play. There's uh, Dick and Jane. And on the back is this rabbit. He's raking in his garden. So that is Dick and Jane. If you're seeing this video, I have listed this journal for sale in my Etsy store. The link is in the description below. Um, and I am going to list this for sale at 5 p.m. today, Saturday the 22nd. Um, so that everybody will get a chance to see the video before it goes the before the sale goes live all right take care i uh, will talk to you again tomorrow bye bye